Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe Character Animator and After Effects CC 2025. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic link between Character Animator and After Effects. So if you're working with your character in After Effects and you want to make some changes, well you can just jump back into Character Animator, re-record a take, and then when you go back to After Effects, those changes that you just made in Character Animator are going to update automatically. So here I am in Adobe Character Animator. You can see me up in the top corner there. When I move my head, the character moves its head. And when I speak, the character lip syncs. So in the top left corner, I'm in the record mode. The project panel, similar to in After Effects, you'll see any recordings that you've made. It's gonna have all the puppets where you can customize the puppet behaviors, and it's gonna have scenes. And scenes are just like compositions in After Effects. When we create the dynamic link between character animator and After Effects, it's the scene that you select and bring into your After Effects project. So to set up your scene and character animator, you're gonna do so over in the properties panel. And if you don't see anything populated in the properties panel, all you do is click on the word scene, and then you're gonna see the frame rate, the duration, the width, and the height. So whatever is set up over here in character animator, when you bring in that scene, that's gonna be the size, the frame rate, and the duration in After Effects. To change the background, look in the bottom right corner of the scene window, for that little icon with the person in the diagonal stripes, go ahead and click on that. I currently have my background set to transparent. That's why you're seeing the grid. If you want to add a background, you can select from one of the preset backgrounds. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep mine on transparent. And I recorded this little demo, just dragging that CTI to the beginning of the timeline. I clicked the record button and I just recorded. I'll tap the space bar just so you can hear the little intro that I made. Hi there. My name is Mike Murphy, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a hand-drawn look to your footage the fast and easy way in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. Before you bring it into After Effects, be sure to save your character animator project. To do so, just go to the top menu, go to File, Save Project As. I just created a folder on my desktop and saved it in that. Give it a name at the top, you'll just click save. Open After Effects, and now we need to import the character animator project file. So to import an After Effects, I can just double click on an empty space in the project panel or go to the file menu, import, import file, or use the keyboard shortcut command or control I. I'll navigate to my desktop to that character animator folder I created and just select the .chproj file, click open. You get this little dialog box. It's creating the dynamic link server you can see at the bottom. Now here you're gonna see a list of any scenes that you created in that project and you can just select the scene. So I just have the one scene called Mike. I'll click okay. You can see it's an Adobe dynamic link. So all we need to do is simply drag it right onto the new composition button at the bottom of the project panel. And if I tap the space bar, hi there, my name is Mike Murphy. And in this tutorial, we've got the exact same animation that we created in Character Animator. Pretty cool. Now you might be wondering about the black background. Well, that's just the color of the composition settings. So if I press Command or Control K to bring up composition settings, you can see we're at 1920 by 1080 pixels, 24 frames per second, 40 seconds in duration is the timeline, and that's that black background color. This is just for visual, it's not gonna render out. So if I click on the transparency grid, you see we do have a transparent background. Now let's say that you did want to add one of the character animator backgrounds that you saw when you clicked on the background button. We can jump back into character animator, I'll click on the background button, Let's try this desert one here, see how that looks. Now I'm not saving anything, didn't do anything. I'm just gonna jump back into After Effects. Just like that, it updates automatically. How cool is that? I don't wanna use this background, so I'm gonna go back to Character Animator. I'll click on the background button, I'm gonna go back to Transparency. Again, not saving anything, jump back into After Effects. Now we've got a transparent background. I'm gonna add my own background from the footage folder. I'm gonna drag on this cardboard texture here. I'm gonna add a logo. 
just so I can demonstrate what we're going to do here. I'm going to move my character. I'm just clicking and moving just like I can any other layer in After Effects. When I go back into Character Animator, notice that the position of the character did not move. So when you make changes in After Effects, it's not changing anything in Character Animator. Any changes you make in Character Animator are going to update in After Effects. Just a couple things I'll point out. Notice when I select the character, I've got the bounding box and the character is all the way to the far right. So if I make some animations, maybe I move the arm, I have to be conscious of the bounding box, otherwise it's going to be cut off. Originally I was going to put the character on this right side so I'd have all this room on the left side, but I ended up moving it over here. So if you wanted to change the placement of where it was in the bounding box, well you would just go back into Character Animator. I can just move the puppet, I can select it over here in the timeline, and I can go to the properties and change the transform, or this character has this position X or Y, so I can just move it wherever I want to. When I go back into After Effects, you're going to see it's going to adjust, and now I can just move the bounding box to where I want it. To show and hide the audio waveform of your character, just select your character animator layer down in the layers panel. If you tap the letter L one time, that's going to show you the audio levels, so you can adjust the volume here. You'll see there's a waveform group that you can twirl open, but the keyboard shortcut, just tap the letter L two times. So LL, now we can see the audio waveform. I'm going to drag the CTI to the end, and now let's record a little bit. Let's go back to Adobe Character Animator. I'll make sure the CTI is where I want it on the timeline. And I'm going to click on the record button. Go to the Effects and Presets panel, click in the search field, and just type out Hand. There you'll find the Hand Drawn Effect. Just select it, drag it right onto your footage layer, tap the spacebar, and just like that you've got yourself a nice looking hand drawn animation. And then just go to the Effect Controls panel to customize. Nice work. Now click Stop. Go back into After Effects, tap the spacebar, go to the Effects and Presets panel, click in the search and field. we've got ourselves a new recording. Now at this point of the audio, go to the Effects and Presets panel. I want the character to point to the Effects and Presets panel. So I'll go back into Adobe Character Animator. When I press record, it's not going to record over what I've already done. It's going to add to it. Now I don't want to add any more audio, so I'm just going to go to the top right and click on the microphone icon. Just that's going to prevent Character Animator from adding another audio track that I don't need. I'll click record. I'm going to be able to hear the audio as it's playing back, so I'll know when I want to point. When I'm done, I'll click stop. Go to the Effects and Presets panel. Click in the search field and just type out hand. There you'll find the hand drawn effect. Just select it, drag it right onto your footage layer, tap the spacebar, and just like that you've got yourself a nice looking hand drawn animation. And then just go to the effect controls panel to customize. You can make sure you got it right in character animator before you jumped into After Effects. Go to the effects and presets panel. See the timing was a little bit off, so maybe I can just move it a little bit. Go to the Effects and Presets panel, click in the search field, and just... Okay, now go into After Effects. Go to the Effects and Presets panel. I can move the panel. Make sure it fits. But if I was actually wanted to make a tutorial using this character, now I could start recording my screen and just basically make it look like the character was interacting with After Effects or whatever I wanted it to do. Go to the Effects and Presets panel, click in the search field, and just type out Hand. There you'll find the hand drawn effect. Just select it, drag it right onto your footage layer, tap the spacebar, and just like that you've got yourself a nice looking hand drawn animation. That is how you can create a dynamic link from Adobe Character Animator and bring your character into Adobe After Effects. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.